Julia Bradbury is with us, TV presenter and passionate walker, and Nick Giles, Ordnance Survey MD for Leisure. Uh, Julia, um, not great news, <laughs> not particularly good. Uh, Brits still don't know how to read a map, getting lost, relying on friends and families or strangers to get us home. <laughs> um, what, what's going on? What's going on? Well, the, it's National Map Reading Week and uh, Ordnance Survey want to, quite rightly, we want to sort of encourage people to pick up the map again if they have indeed dropped the map. Um, yeah, it's quite, it's quite scary. 27% of Brits say they've never been taught to read a map. Um, uh, almost a quarter of the people surveyed said they still don't know how to read one, even though they have been taught. So there's, there's definitely something going on here. And we would like like to encourage people to learn to read maps and it's easy it is not massively complicated my kids can read maps now because I've been doing it with them and we've been doing coordinates since they could read we've made it a part of our fun thing at breakfast like find out where grandma and grandpa live on the map here are the coordinates um, which way is north which way is south we're going on a ro road journey which direction are we heading in are we going to see anything interesting along the way you can engage kids and I think that's that's the, the, one of the key things here is let's get kids involved earlier one in four kids leaving primary school right now is obese we, they need to be physically active we need to try and encourage them and help them and one of the great things they can do is get outside and get outdoors and i think map reading is an important part of making them feel comfortable outside and um, adding to their arsenal of skills outside definitely um nick this is this is kind of like a little bit worrying isn't it in a way because uh, we've become a bit lazy and, and I, I guess you know the thing is that you know when you're out you know kind of like looking for the mountains and the hills uh, you haven't necessarily got 4g have you you haven't no and and while you can download maps onto your mobile device it's it's not quite the same as being able to unfurl a map and actually just really understand if i took a little detour there for you know, half a mile then actually what would i see would i be able to climb a hill would i get a fantastic view from the top and learning these skills actually is, is it's a real life skill it really opens up the outdoors and enables you to actually explore and to go and find new places see new things and there are so many it's so easy to do once you've got the basics it's not it's not hard there's a huge number of, um, of videos of how-to blogs on, on the website, getoutside.uk, which will just give you the little tips to help you to get outside more often, which is what we're yeah. all about. No, no, definitely. Uh, we'll come back to some of those kind of like intricacies of, of Ordnance Survey and some of the other things that you, know, you can pick up. I mean, I don't know about you, Julia, but I, I certainly remember the day of, you know, Cubs and Scouts. And I, I was there with the map well and truly, and I uh, used to love it. Actually, you know, I took my geography exam. I think I did quite well. Yeah, I, and um, um, Nick will tell you that uh, when when um, uh, geography exams are taking part, even now as uh, during across the country as part of the national curriculum, the OS Twitter feed goes absolutely crazy um, because it is still taught. Uh, you know, map reading is still taught in, in the curriculum, which is great. And if you're doing geography, you're going to learn to read a map, which is brilliant. Yeah, I mean, I've been I've been reading maps since I was a little one. My dad took me walking for the first time in the Peak District when I was six or seven, and um, and that's when that's when we started for 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 me. Um, obviously, like everybody else, the most frustrating part of map reading is trying to concertina the, the map back into your backpack afterwards, <laughs> yes. which is yeah, that's a whole other skill set in itself. That's always like macrame, isn't it? Um, so that's that's something else you need to learn on top of what coordinates and contours are. But yeah, it's it's hugely nostalgic and, and it's a. It, it makes you feel good. And um, and I, I think that's an important part of all of this as well. We want, you know, it's fun, but it is also important. There, there was a there was a time when everybody thought that reading was all going to go onto screens, that we, you know, it would all be on Kindles, it would all be on iPads, it would all be, you know, there wouldn't be, we wouldn't have books anymore. You go when you're travelling, certainly when I'm travelling in London on the tubes and the buses, people have got books with them now. You know, again, there's something about reading you know, like pages proper pages and reading those printed words it's the same as writing it's a skill that we mustn't lose as human beings and map reading is is in with that it's part of our helps with our imagination it helps with our brain mapping it helps with our neurons and it helps us to know where we're going <laughs> you know yeah. Yeah. We, we we have become very very lazy i mean i'm very lucky i call my dad dad nav because he has the most 
incredible brain. I think his brain is just like the road atlas of Britain. And I'm like, Dad, which which A road should I go? And he goes, oh, you need the A73 on that one. And he just knows. <laughs> and But he's got it embedded in his yeah. brain. And oh. um, it's, a, it's a really, really uh, important skill. And it's one of those life skills. You know, we see I, I'm privileged enough to get to hand out Duke of Edinburgh award schemes. Sometimes it's James's Palace and Buckingham Palace to kids who go through those, um, the D of E's. And for people who are not sure what the D of E is, they're proper outdoor tests. You know, they go camping, they have to navigate, they have to orienteer, they have to work as a team, um, they have to survive the elements, which is all of those things round you as a person. Um, and map reading fits into that. Yeah, I, I think we've all got someone like your dad in our lives as well, Julia. Hopefully. I reckon. Yes, yeah, pulling us right. Um, I was laughing at the folding up of maps because, uh, Nick, I'm guessing in 2022, you know, when I last properly looked at a Northern Survey map, and I'm very embarrassed to say this, it was probably around about, you know, the end of the 1980s. But I'm guessing in 2022, you know, these you know, maps have become a lot more, I suppose, well, up to date and, you know, they're perhaps even a little bit easier to fold up as well, aren't they? I don't know about easier to fold. I mean, certainly more up to date. We, we make around about 30,000 changes to the, the map of Britain every single day. So it's right. constantly updating. But the folding, there is a knack to it. And if you hold it in the middle on, on, the, on the central <laughs> crease and then flip it over, it will yeah. concertina like an accordion back together. So there is a knack. It can be done quickly. It's more difficult in strong winds. <laughs> yeah, yes. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, John, before we were chatting, Nick was showing me, we, we, we can see each other over Zoom, and Nick was showing me from the comfort of his office how to fold a map. I was like, okay, right. you're fine. You're sitting in your chair. What about the wind? What about the rain? Now, now show me what's going on. It's a bit like putting a tent yeah. up. Easier, no. easy in theory, not necessarily a, 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 as, easy, a, as uh, easy when you're out there, but fun and part <laughs> of it all. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, listen, you two stay there. We're back in just a second. Uh, Nick Giles, Ordnance Survey MD for Leisure, is with us. And also Julia Bradbury, uh, TV presenter and passionate walker. Um, Nick, you know, the thing about, you know, Ordnance Survey maps is, um, you know, there, there's other features as well. There's other intricacies, aren't there? Absolutely. I mean, there's so many sort of hidden treasures. You know, we, we always say there's, there's, there's 10,000 adventures on every map sheet. And actually, this is you know, what a cheap way to go out and entertain the family in these times where we have less, less cash to spend. So, you know, there's a huge amount of content on there. But those features are also really useful for finding where you are on the map. Because it's all very well being able to read one, but then to be able to locate yourself, you know, if you see a church with a spire, then that's a different symbol from a church with a tower. You can use the symbology on the map to really kind of find out exactly where you are. Yeah. And obviously, there's other things that you can uncover, like good pubs, uh, museums, yeah. monuments, all of the all of the, the the sort of history that sits around this wonderful country. They've How done. Good is it? John, they've done they've done a big uh, ordnance survey. They've done a big survey, and um, it, it's come back that seventy seven percent of people don't know what the pub symbol is on an OS map. Personally, wow. my mission t today is just to sort that out. We need Absolutely. to make we need to make sure that people know it's a tankard. By the way, everybody. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that was the first one that you'd look for. No, absolutely. I was about to ask, funnily enough, actually, Julia, I bet you're, you're kind of like part of the process is, is learning a little bit of that and the contour lines and stuff like that and knowing where the hills are. You know, this is all stuff that is just so, so useful when, when you're walking, when you're taking the dogs out, whatever. Yeah, well, I grew up in um, I grew up in uh, a combination of places. I grew up near the Peak District. I went to school in Sheffield, but I actually w w my, my my parents from the age of two. I lived in Rutland, the tiny county of Rutland, which is on the Lincolnshire Leicestershire borders. Not known for being a particularly hilly and contour laden um, place. Um, so I so I I could easily I, you know you show me show me the map of the Peak District and the contour lines on the peaks, and then show me the map of Rutland and the contour lines around Lincolnshire. Leicestershire, there's a really good way to demonstrate to people who aren't sure about contour lines and what they mean. This is a hilly spot. This is not. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Um, Nick, I mean, back to you very quickly. Uh, I've got to ask this question as well, because obviously part of the process at the moment is that Ordnance Survey are publishing some annual walks as well and some data behind that also. Um, so, you know, if we're looking for places to go this summer, the weather's got quite nice now. Uh, there's all that detail in there as well, right? 
So yeah, so we have uh, we have uh, the, the leading sort of outdoor app in the UK called OS Maps, and within that we we have around about a million different routes that have been created by by people, so we can see exactly where people are, uh, are going and which routes are more popular. So that's come out that Edale in Derbyshire's Peak District is the most popular place, you know, closely followed by Ambleside, Grasmere, and the Lakes. You would expect that. Yeah. Um, but equally, there's towns and city spots. So, you know, Winchester in Hampshire and Settle and Pateley uh, Bridge in North Yorkshire are all really um, uh, town and city spots where people are exploring towns and cities as well as the uh, sort of open countryside. And that ability to be able to navigate through a device or to find a new route in an area um, is, 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 is part of what national map reading is all about as well, because it's, it's about enabling people, more people to get outside more often, which, as I say, is, is what we're all about. Yeah, no, I, I I hear that, and good to hear Winchester is is getting the mention as well. That's where my twins were born, so I know Winchester in Hampshire yeah. very very well. Um, the uh, the four figured grid references and stuff like that as well, Julie. I've got to come back to you on this one. Don't don't look too confused, but I mean, um, I used to love doing this when I was oh, in the I, army. I was in the army cadets, and I used to I tell really, people where I was. I love it, and my kids love it. Like four clicks, five clicks, six clicks, and you know, yeah. grid grid seven C, and I mean, yeah, it's it's brilliant. It's uh, it's a, a re it's actually simple. You know, it's not that hard, and it is something that you can pick up really uh, uh, really quickly. And if you go to um, the getoutside.uk website, there's a brilliant, there's a fantastic um, video on there, which is super simple about you know just the basics of map reading and um it's uh it, it's and it's all we just want we want people to feel comfortable outside we want them not to have that panic of or oh, 31 percent of people said that they felt they, they feel worried that they're going to get lost and, and then feel worried that they're lost even when they're not lost that's a horrible feeling you don't want that when you're outside you want to feel the happiness the joy the you know the, that the, all, all the endorphins are, are rushing and you're loving where you are and you're enjoying the countryside and you don't want that worry so have the map with you and know how to read it and it just gives you that sort of little comfort blanket of knowledge that uh, that you know what you're up to and where you're going i'm looking forward to the summer even more now that i've got my ordnance survey kind of download from you what where do we go again julia where, where's the best places to so, get all this info um, so from you can stuff? download the um you can download the app from osmaps.com and there are more yep. than a million routes and you can f learn about um reading maps with tutorials and blogs and all that stuff on getoutside.uk and i should also say my sister and i gina have a website called the outdoor guide which is full of walking routes which follow some of my tv walking routes and along those routes um there are things like pubs and where to stay and and you know local marmalade suppliers and farms and all of that stuff but the mapping on the outdoor guide is done by ordnance survey because they are the best mappers in the world um and and as nick said you know thirty thousand changes are made to the map of britain every single day these are the most up-to-date maps with the most up-to-date information that you don't get on your sat nav on your sat nav you've just got the direction you're going in and those horrible sort of like pale blue lines on either side of the motorway yeah. don't know what they are <laughs> yeah look i better let you get back to it all and nick's probably got a few more changes to make to some ordnance as we as well. speak so, yeah as we speak exactly uh, julia been lovely talking to you thank you for your time Wonderful to chat to you. And thank you to Nick as well. Lovely.